Shrimp provides a vital source of protein to the world, and many people make their livelihood by producing shrimp. Growing disease pressure threatens the availability of this vital food source globally, increasing the price of shrimp to consumers and hurting the livelihood of shrimp farmers. Declining water quality and environmental pressures, such as fluctuation in temperature, pH, and salinity, also serve to further increase shrimp disease pressure, weakening shrimp populations and increasing mortality. Today globally, four common shrimp diseases significantly impact shrimp production. These diseases are 1. EMS or Early Mortality Syndrome 2. WFD or White Feces Disease 3. WSD or White Spot Disease and 4. EHP or Enterocytozoan hepatopenii. The approach to control these diseases requires both new product technology and the introduction of improved management practices, which help prevent these and further diseases from impacting our industry. To help control the spread of these diseases, it is important to detect and recognize disease symptoms should they develop on your farm. Early Mortality Syndrome, or EMS, Early Mortality Syndrome, or EMS, also known as AHPNS, this disease is caused by a specific Vibrio bacteria called Vibrio parahemolyticus. If preventative steps aren't taken, it can quickly wipe out entire shrimp populations in a matter of days. Small shrimp younger than 45 days of age are most at risk. There are many factors which help contribute to EMS, such as poor quality post-larva supply, poor water quality, stress from cold water temperatures, and the dominance of fast-growing Vibrio parahemolyticus in pond water which can outcompete slower-growing beneficial bacteria. Further, the practice of disinfecting ponds to remove potential pathogens or their carriers actually favors these fast-growing pathogenic bacteria in recolonizing, resulting in additional proliferation of EMS, AHP, and D. Signs of EMS show up as infected shrimp growing more slowly. Shrimp will often swim erratically or slowly and drop to the bottom of the pond. Shrimp exoskeletons soften, their color changes, and they often shrink or swell. Lastly, their hepatopancreas changes color and the shrimp die. White feces disease or WFD White feces disease, or WFD, is also associated with vibriosis and possibly gregorines, which are a protozoan parasite. White feces disease affects shrimp typically between 60 days of age and harvest. Similar to the causes for EMS, there are many factors which contribute to WFD, such as high levels of vibrio associated with poor quality post larva supplied from hatcheries, excessive vibrio levels in pond or feeder water, inadequate pond preparation methods, low dissolved oxygen levels, less than 3.0 milligrams per liter, and poor pond water quality management during grow out leading to increased vibrio growth. Shrimp with WFD produce a white string or tubular stool that floats at the surface of the pond. Shrimp become weak and lose weight and often have a dark discoloration of their gills. Dark gills alone can also be a symptom of other diseases as well. This disease kills shrimp if it is not detected early. Gut health can be promoted by using BioWish probiotic products to inoculate the gut. Adding BioWish in the water column can keep Vibrio from proliferating. White Spot Disease or WSD White spot disease, or WSD, is caused by a virus, not bacteria, and can kill shrimp at all stages of development. The disease is carried by infected crustaceans and pond detritus. Shrimp are affected by the virus when pond water parameters rapidly fluctuate, temperature, pH, and salinity changes, producing environmental stress. Typically, the virus is dormant until activated by rapidly dropping water temperature, as can occur during heavy rainfall events. Shrimp infected with WSD have a reddish color. Their carapace can easily separate from their cuticle. White spots will often appear on the carapace, although vanamate may not show this effect. The last disease that we will discuss is EHP, which stands for Enterocytozoan hepatopenii, 
EHP is caused by a parasite. EHP does not kill shrimp, but it severely slows and stunts their growth during all growth stages in which the disease is present in the shrimp. There are many factors which contribute to EHP. Infectious materials largely come from decaying organic detritus and infected crustaceans around the pond. Control and prevention requires close attention to using a range of good farm pond management practices, including incoming water filtration to remove intermediary host carriers, as presently there is no cure for EHP. Shrimp infected with EHP never grow to the desired size, which can decrease harvest yield significantly. Shrimp with EHP develop normally during the first month, however, once they get to 3 or 4 grams per piece, their growth slows or stops. As a result, infected shrimp are usually only 4 to 5 grams at harvest time. There are preventative measures for all of these diseases which can be added to your existing management practices that will improve overall production. The results of these improved practices will significantly reduce disease pressure on your farm and improve your overall production, while also lowering your cost of production. BioWish AquaFarm is a powerful blend of microorganisms that improves and maintains water quality by accelerating the removal of nitrogenous wastes and enhancing the water biology. BioWish AquaFarm supports optimum animal performance in all aquaculture systems. BioWish MultiBio 3PS is a soluble prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic that works together to prevent disease aid in feed digestion and maintain long-term digestive health. It provides a cost-effective solution for the end user and yields a leading return on investment. Want to know more about how we can help? Consult with our team of experts at BioWish.